there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about merging mania. It is a fundamental skill for both passing a road test and remaining crash free for your driving career. Now, just before we get started here, be sure to hit that subscribe button just about there. That way you'll get access to all of the information for those of you working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver. As well, be sure to hit that bell. That way you'll get instant notification when I get the videos available for you. Now, merging, as I said, it's one of the fundamental skills for both passing a road test and remaining crash free during your driving career. And I've had questions from smart drivers repeatedly again and again in the last year and a half that have been working hard on the smart drive test channel here, whether he or she can stop on the acceleration lane. And let me just repeat definitively, no, do not ever stop on the acceleration lane. Once you're on that acceleration lane where the white lines go from solid to dotted, you are committed to merging out onto the highway, the freeway, or the motorway. So make sure you go. So what I've done is I've taken uh, video footage from the last 18 months of my dash cam uh, in Toronto and Kamloops and Vernon on Vancouver Island and in Vancouver, the city of Vancouver, which are all big cities and lots of merging. Uh, other vehicles merging, myself merging, and I've put them all together in a collage so you can watch these and watch how other people merge successfully out onto the highway. And you will see in none of this footage do the vehicles ever stop on the acceleration lane. Even when the traffic is at a crawl in Toronto, they simply come down the on-ramp, signal early, match the speed of the traffic flow on the highway, and then the other vehicles on the roadway help them to merge onto the highway roadway and motorway by creating a space for the vehicles that are merging. As I've said before, driving is a social activity and <laughs> if you ask nicely by putting your signal on early and also other vehicles see you coming down the on-ramp and on the acceleration lane, they're gonna move over, they're gonna slow down and help create a space for you in which you can merge into. So have a look at the video footage here and learn from it. I have lots of different configurations. You'll see that some of them have really long on ramps, which allow you to get speed as well uh, with ample acceleration lanes. And then some of the other ones, shorter on ramps and much, much shorter acceleration lanes as well. And just as a side note, this is not uh, passing a road test. There's some stuff here that you can't do on a road test, but it will keep you safe uh, during the course of your driving career. So just that caveat that there are some different techniques that you have to put in place for merging, but it will keep you safe over the course of your driving career. So stick around, we'll be right back with that information.
get off on this road here again. It's going to be less well traveled and not as plowed. And again, I slow down before the curve and then I turn and I accelerate. I get a bit of power to the wheels here because this road obviously hasn't been plowed at all. It looks like the sander made an attempt to sort of get down here. Los Angeles next. Are we? She nodded. You need to take care of the Samantha. That we were coming up to an intersection because of the cross traffic on the other road and the vehicle with its brake lights. We knew before we even got there. We don't have to stop here, but nice and slow going around the corner here. You can see that I'm only doing 30 kilometers an hour and I'm working the steering wheel and I'm working the throttle. Yeah. Why you're not, why not an NHL because, player? Because yeah. I would skate on my <laughs> ankles. And, and you, know, you know, of course they're weak, but I think the I would have liked to blame the skates a little bit too. I mean, I made a funny joke today. I said if I had the technology, had the equipment now, I'd still be playing at oh, close to 60 days. <laughs> it's amazing. That, and the one, just a quick stat on the skate that we showed earlier today there. Um, by, by removing five ounces, which is 150 grams or whatever the math is, over the course of a game, a guy that plays an average chip there is, is reducing his weight uh, ratio by 1,500 pounds, lifting his legs up and skating every shift. So you think about over wow. the course of one game I've ever played. <laughs>
Oh, and your sister. Quick review of Merging Mania, as you saw there in the collage of video footage of merging. No one stops on the acceleration lane when they're merging out onto the highway, freeway, or motorway, regardless of how fast the, the traffic is moving along the highway, motorway, or freeway. As you saw in the backed up traffic there in Toronto, they simply come down the on-ramp on the acceleration lane, match the speed of the flow of traffic, and move over. And early signaling is going to help you to ask the vehicles, the drivers on the roadway, highway or freeway or motorway to help you create a space or they're gonna move over and allow you to merge onto the highway, freeway or motorway. So it's a team event and you need to signal early and match the flow of traffic on the roadway. And if uh, you're in Canada here and there isn't a whole lot of traffic, that flow of traffic is gonna be a bit higher than the posted speed limit. Uh, if you're in the US, it's going to be 10, five to 10 miles an hour. If you're here in Canada, it's gonna be 10 to 15 kilometers an hour above the posted speed limit is what the flow of traffic is going to be. So that was a wide range of different types of on-ramps and acceleration lanes. Uh, sometimes the acceleration lane, as you saw there, was really long where the solid white lines are and you can get up speed and then it's not as imperative that you go all the way down the acceleration lane to get up to the posted speed limit. Now as well again the caveat was is that this was not for the purposes of passing a road test. Remember for the purposes of a road test stay on the acceleration lane till the end get right to the posted speed limit and then move over because this is just general driving of how I do it uh, most days and you were watching other vehicles as well in the dash cam footage there. So just know that, that if you're studying for a road test, make sure you stay the posted speed limit so that you're not exceeding that because if you do on a road test, unfortunately you're not going to be successful. Question for my smart drivers, was this collage of merging videos in different weather types, light conditions, and different places in Canada here, was this helpful for you? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers working towards getting experience and staying crash free during their driving career. If you like what you see here, share, subscribe, leave a comment down in the comment section as well hit that thumbs up button check out all the videos here on the channel if you're working towards a license or starting a career as a truck or bus driver lots of great information here as well head over to the smart drive test website more great information over there and online courses that you can purchase all of the online courses are guaranteed pass your road test 30-day money-back guarantee as well right now look down in the description there 30% off pass your road test first time it's a course for new drivers and you will be successful on your road test 60 day money back guarantee. If you don't pass first time within 60 days, I'll give you your money back. And it's 30% off right now. Get the coupon down in the description and plug that into the coupon box in the form over at the website. Uh, it sells for $38.95 and with that coupon, you'll get it for about 20 bucks. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck on your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.
Hi there, smart. Hi there, smart. Hi there, smart drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test Talk. Hi there, smart.